friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today I'm going to show you how you can make your own vitamin water or flavored water. And this is basically just a cold infusion instead of making a hot tea. And the nice thing about a cold infusion is not only is it great for the hot months of summer, it's something where you can, you know for certain you're going to preserve all the nutrients of those herbs or fruit, whatever it is you're using in there. Because we know that vitamin C is one of the first things that gets burned off. Whenever you apply heat to it, it is definitely more delicate when it comes to that. But this is a way if you've got herbs or fruits that are using, that you're using that are high in vitamin C, then you know at least this way you can preserve that vitamin C and enjoy it in your cold drinks. Now, in this case, I'm not using any sugar because I don't use sugar in something like this. Um, if I'm making a fermented soda, then yes, I use sugar for a couple of reasons, because one, you need the sugar to get it really fizzy and fermenty, but it just you know adds some nice sweetness. But as you're fermenting, you can also use honey, and I only use organic cane sugar when it comes to that. Um, when you're fermenting, you're actually working through some of those sugars anyway, but this is just a cold infusion. Now you can add some honey or coconut sugar or whatever your favorite type of sweetener is to this if you want, um, but I find it just in plenty enjoyable without any kind of sweetness to it. So first I'm gonna make a couple of different ones, get them going, and then I'll give you some suggestions and so you, show you some images of ones I've made in the past just a few more ideas and there's plenty more out there and I could go on forever about the different ideas that you could use. So it's really going to be about whatever you're growing in your garden or is readily available to you. So the first one I'm going to do is calendula. So I've got calendula flowers. This is one of calendula flowers are some of my favorite things to use when it comes to making a cold infusion. So I'm just going to toss those in the jar and then right here I'm not going to separate them out, but I have orange mint and lemon balm. I love these two together. I, I grow the orange mint mostly because I love the aroma of it in the garden, but I never was crazy about it as a tea until I started realizing I could combine it with other herbs and it really helps bring out the flavors such as lemon balm. So you got the orangey flavor here and you got the lemon flavor. So they combine really well. And I'm just gonna shove those in my jar like so. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I just dumped everything out and I'm gonna mix these all together so it looks prettier in the jar and then put them in like that. That way I make a nicer looking photo. And there you go. That way the colors are all interspersed. And then I just simply top that off with, we use filtered rainwater. We collect our own rainwater and then filter it and that's the only water that we consume. But whatever good healthy water you have on hand. Then just put a lid on and then all I gotta do, you might wanna shake it up a little bit. And then all I gotta do is put it in the fridge and let it sit for 24 hours in the fridge. They'll get it good and cold. But because it's a cold infusion, it does take longer for the flavors to infuse into the water. And then the second one I'm going to make is blackberry leaves. One of the reasons I'm doing this is because when I did the video on the benefits of blackberry leaves, I was talking about dehydrating them and I failed to point out that the purpose of dehydrating is for preserving so you have them for the year. But as long as any of your herbs are growing fresh, yes, use them fresh. I always, during the season that things are coming in fresh, I always use them fresh. And I don't make teas and such out of dried herbs during this time of the year. Only use fresh herbs. Well, this is these are all green, so it doesn't look as pretty as some of the other ones I've made, but good enough. And mojito mint, which I don't think I mentioned is the other herb that's in there. Mojito mint by itself makes an excellent cold infusion. It's one of my favorite for, it's my favorite mint for a cold drink, though peppermint's really, really good too. But uh, anyway, I decided I'd throw those blackberry leaves in there as well and get some of those benefits from those. And the same thing, or I top it off with my water, put the lid on, and then I'll stick it in the fridge for those to 
get nice and cold and to infuse for the, at least the next 24 hours. You can leave it for a couple of days if you would like. Now let's talk about some other options and ones I've done in the past. Now I've done just plain calendula flowers and that is just excellent. I love it. Um, another one I'm going to try and keep in mind that when you, this video was shot six weeks ahead of time. So um, at this point that I'm shooting this video, my lilac flowers haven't fully bloomed yet. They're getting there, they're getting close, but I'm going to make one with lilac flowers. I think that would taste amazing. I think it would taste better than even the hot tea because I think you're gonna preserve even more of that flavor of the lilac, which is nice, delicate, but sweet flavor. Some other ones would, that I like to do is I like to use the holy basil. Holy basil is also an excellent one. And sometimes I'll combine that with my cat mint, especially if I'm just wanting to de-stress a little bit, help calm down from whatever's going on. So mixing the holy basil with the cat mint is an excellent option for that because they're both, uh, holy basil is an adaptogen, which helps your body to adapt to stress anyway. And then the, the cat mint is, is a natural sedative and catnip, both of them. They're very closely related, but there, there are differences. I've, and I've done this before, though lavender isn't my favorite flavor as far as the flower goes. But yes, you can use lavender flowers. You can use lavender leaves. I actually prefer the flavor of the leaves over the flowers when it comes to that. Um, borage flowers, and now that's really beautiful. I love doing adding the borage flowers for their nice cucumber flavor, but the color that they add when you put the little blue flowers in there, you could use the leaves as well. And really any of your mints, so spearmint, peppermint, chocolate mint, uh, whatever your favorite mint flavor is, especially for the hot days of summer, they're so refreshing. Some of your fruits that I really recommend using would be uh, lemon slices in particular, but also orange slices. If you're going to add lime or grapefruit, I do recommend you take the peel off for that because it can make it too bitter. Uh, it just probably will depend on how long you let it infuse, but lime peels and grapefruit peels are far more bitter than your orange and lemon peels. And then some other ones would be kiwi, peach, apple and then cucumber is excellent and these are all great also for if you're trying to raise the alkalinity to help combat acidity and yes any of your citrus will do that as well and then as far as some dried goods if you do want to use some dried goods one i might try is doing an apple cinnamon so i have dried apples from our own trees and i have uh, some cinnamon sticks and you could put those in. I thought about getting one of those started, but I don't want more than two in the fridge at a time. And by the way, these are quart jars and you can see I didn't measure it. I just put it in there until it pretty much filled up the jar and then pour my water over that. And then um, I'd say one to two sticks of cinnamon and I use Ceylon cinnamon in this case and then some dried apple slices, however many sound good to you. So you don't have to worry about measurements with stuff like this. Just consider how much flavor you want in that and how much benefits. If you want a more lightly flavored, just put in a little bit. Don't make it, don't put as much in as I do. Now, yes, you can do sun teas. Sun teas aren't something I do that often, partly because, well, in the summertime, we do get sun actually here in rain country, but even then it can be rather sporadic. And on top of that, when you're talking about herbs and trying to get all their benefits out of that, I always personally am a bit concerned about putting it in the hot sun and the, the UV rays and how much is that gonna destroy the nutrients? I mean, I don't know for certain, but I figure you're a lot safer going with, if you're trying to get all the nutrients, you're gonna be a lot better off just doing a cold infusion and put it, putting it in your fridge and then letting it sit for 24 hours. It's gonna, again, it's gonna take longer than doing a sun tea or actually simmering a little bit, but you'll you definitely will get far more out of it if you do it that way so what i'd like you to do now is give your ideas and suggestions what are some of your favorite ones to make oh another one i thought of was pansy putting some pansy flowers in there not only would that add some color it would also add the benefits of your pansy or viola flowers or even violets for that matter but yes please give us some ideas suggestions down below what are your favorite types of cold infusions to make and do you make them for anything specific, like any health, 
any specific health benefits. Do you make it for that or do you just make it for the sheer enjoyment of the flavor? So, and oh, one more thing I wanted to toss in there. Like I had somebody talk about how making flavored waters, you know, out of herbs and stuff, how her daughter doesn't like to drink that because the pieces and stuff just bother her. And so you can always, if you end up with little bits and pieces in your infused water, you can always filter it through a fine cloth, like a good quality cheese cloth or even just some 100% cotton cloth from an old pillowcase that's nice and clean. That will help filter all that out so you have nice clean water, but you're still getting all the great benefits. So anyway, share your ideas down below and don't forget to read the comments down below if you're coming in here so you can get some more ideas. And thanks for watching, take care, and God bless.